So Mamelodi Sundowns has been doing a lot of work, not only in the signing of players. Of course, it's the off-season right now. And actually, from today, the 1st of July, the transfer window is officially opened. And you'll see a lot of player movements ahead of the next season, the 2022-23, which starts next month in August. But right now, we're going to be talking about uh, something a little bit off the pitch when it comes to Mamelodi Sundowns and what they've been doing. And I'm joined uh, by their brand ambassador, Donna Doni Ten, is here in studio. Yeah. Tiko Mudise, one of the best players you'll ever see on the South African football landscape. Thank you so much for uh, your time, bro. Uh, enjoying retirement? I am enjoying retirement, to be honest with you. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I've always wondered about professional, not only footballers, athletes in yeah. general? After you retire, what do you wake up and do? Because you're used to getting up, trading schedule, and, and all of that. What, what's the, the, the routine? I think it's difficult to, to, um, to form a, a new routine because you're used to waking up in the morning and going to train. So first two months, of course, you want to sleep in yeah. and, enjoy, and enjoy that. But um, once you're out of that system and then you go back to what you normally do, what you normally know, just go back to training and that's what I'm doing. I am training most of the time, like um, if every day if I have an opportunity mm. to do so, but it's just a routine that is very difficult to get rid of. Mm. And of course, you've been very, very busy. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of football fans will know you for your punditry work, yeah. but also you've been working with your former team, Mamelodi Sundowns, one of your former teams, mm. uh, in some important work you, you're you've been brought in as an ambassador there mm. and now there's a youth internship program yeah. that has been launched by sundowns and obviously it's a it's a give back uh, sort of project mm. program for sundowns what's happening there uh, first of all i think this is a project that uh, the president himself is very 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 uh, passionate about uh, it's an internship program just to try and open opportunities for youth. We all know the, 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 the challenges that we have in the country with unemployed, the rate of unemployment. Mm. So therefore, um, and we also know that uh, the first thing that they ask you for as, as, as youth when you're trying to get to any job, yeah. it's an experience. So Mamli Sanans is providing that opportunity in terms of experience in the workplace. And uh, it's an internship that's going to run for five months. It started, mm. uh, uh, it starts now, and it's going to end. It starts now in August, and then ends in December. And who knows, if you you you're doing a great job, you might you might overstay it sometimes. You might just extend the five months yeah. into five years. Of course, and 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 also it it it's. I think it will be exciting for the young ones to actually be able to be around Mamelodi Sundowns and understand and see uh, the behind the scenes of, mm. of um, one of the most dominant teams in the country. Mm -hmm. Not only in the country, actually, on the <laughs> continent. Sundowns is a force on the, con uh, on the continent right now. I think all mm. of us can agree on that. But what, what's the, the uh, a job title, so to speak, if mm. I can put it like that, for this internship program? What, what uh, are the, the applicants required uh, to do what are the available opportunities? Uh, the available opportunities are for content creation, TikTok, um, for a journalist as well, um, um, for um, a person that's going to be able to activate and mobilize the fans as well. And um, just to name a few, but I think there's five spots mm. for that. And they we're looking to have uh, um, um, young people to be able to occupy those spaces for five months and of course like every workplace you're going to be judged based on performances and and i think in january sometimes we'll be able to review the performances yeah. of every, of the, every a young person was given an opportunity and then from there we'll, we'll, we'll see yeah. what the team does with you mm -hmm. let me just go over the 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 opportunities that are there the sundowns uh, youth internship program it's uh TikTok content creator photography uh, production video editor, journalist slash writer, and marketing activation and supporter uh, mobilization. So those are the opportunities that are there at Mamelodi Sundowns uh, up for grabs. Are they going to be working at Chlorkop, <laughs> working with yeah. the, you know, the stars at Mamelodi Sundowns? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they, they have to come to Chlorkop to be able to work with the team. 
And uh, who knows, maybe being a, a journalist, maybe might get an opportunity to travel with the team whenever they travel, yeah. to be able to write about Manuel Sandan. So those are opportunities that not normally any team in the country will be opening doors for a stranger to come in and assess and see how, well, how things are done in the football space. Mm. Wow, that's, that's amazing. How do you want... Uh, one in each category is is it one in yeah, each category it's, that it's, yes it's one in each category and uh, looking at how this will work and how things uh, are going to pan out maybe maybe sometimes might open another opportunity yeah yeah, yeah. A few of, more opportunities of course yeah. if it's a successful campaign yeah. there's no reason uh, why not yeah. and it's better than to apply now. Applicants, are they open yet? Yeah, they're open, and the, the, the website that needs to go to is www.sundanceinternship.co.za. That's where they can apply. Mm. Yeah. Wow, man, that's that's amazing for everybody who's uh, looking. As Tiko said, there's uh, work experience that's needed whenever uh, you apply for jobs out there. And what an opportunity Sundowns is inviting you uh, if you are between the ages. Uh, between the ages of 18, and I think, and 30, 30, 35. 35. Yeah. So that's what we generally categorize as the youth. <laughs> so uh, up until the age of 35, you've got an opportunity, a wonderful opportunity to work at Mamilodi Sundowns. Tiko Mudise uh, mm -hmm. could be uh, one of those people that you are working side by side with yeah. for an entire five months. And of course, there's an opportunity for that to be extended. But Tiko, let, let me ask you then. Uh, about Sundowns itself. Let me let me quickly just move yeah. out of the internship program and ask you about the team. There's there's this dominance yeah. by Mamelodi Sundowns since you were there actually since you were there as an active player. Yeah. But now there's been five league titles in a row hmm. by Mamelodi Sundowns. Do you think there is an unfair advantage when it comes to <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, there's a school of thought that yeah. Sundowns' deep pockets yeah. uh, provide them with an unfair advantage and perhaps maybe financial fair play should come into, mm. into play uh, to make sure that the, the playing field, so to speak, is level. I mean, if, if, we be, if we're being honest, remember the Sundowns, ever since um, uh, Dr. Petri Smith ever took over, it's been known to sign uh, quality top players from all over the continent. It's not something new with Sundowns. And you look at Sundowns for the last 10 years, um, um, they've been very consistent and it's something that we've even seen in South African football for a long time. So therefore, you need to try and figure out what is it that Sundowns are doing that is so mm. good for us not to be able to compete with them. It's, it's the consistency, which is yeah. something that most, of, most footballers in the whole world are struggling with. And with Mamelodi Sundowns, fortunate enough, they've been very consistent. And also by, by adding also top players, because I strongly believe that every team uh, come window open like this, they, they do have opportunity to sign players, but it's just it's the criteria of the players that you choose, because Mamri Sundowns choose the type of players that can be able to play. The best players, the Tiko Mudises of this world. Yeah, I mean, if you've got the best pair of legs on you, <laughs> you're likely going to go to Sundowns, because... But I've also, I mean, I mean, it's, it's if, 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 if you're a South African footballer, that, that is very good. And, uh, and, and it's important for a footballer as well to, to win trophies. And, and you, you see an opportunity in Mamelodi Sundowns, you, you actually stand at probably maybe 99% chance of winning Does it not compromise the standard of the league, though? Does it, I mean, I, I, there's, there's the side yeah. who, who feel that Mamelodi Sundowns raises the bar, and that's what we should accept. Yeah. And the other side feels that it's a borderline farmer's Sunday deal. <laughs> but it's unfair to, to put the standard of football on the shoulders of Mamluri Sundance. Yeah. I think we should just embrace the fact that Mamluri Sundance is representing the country very well in the continental space. And I think, and I strongly believe also last season, we did have Orlando Pires that did well also in the continental space. So Mamluri Sundance is not totally dominant in terms of, yeah. of South African football. It's just that other teams they need to start competing and figure out yeah. how is it that they can compete with Mamluri Sundance. But yet again, it's always nice to see a club like Mamluri Sundance dominating because they've been investing in such. And, uh, and, and you look at also, not just on the, on, on the, fo on the men's side as well, on the women's side as well, they won the Champions League last season. So therefore, there is some kind of, 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 of progress in the team. What do you think of, uh, because the, the PSL was in, in, in 
the, the, the headlines a couple of weeks ago mm. and the standard mm. of the game in South Africa mm. when coach Hugo Bruce uh, came up came out strongly and yeah. lashed out at the standard of football in South Africa. What do you think of the comments that he made? Do you think South African football has some way to go? Do you think he's right? Do we not have the quality? Do we just think we are something we're not? Look, I honestly believe, in my honest opinion and humble one, that um, Coach Hugo Bruce said, some, said, uh, said some, something that most of us actually have a conversation about. Yeah. I think we, we question a lot about the South African standard of football. I, mean, I think it's been years that we've been questioning that. And I've also been, we've been questioning if we have enough quality players within the league. Yeah. And I strongly believe that we don't. Because I don't think we, we see a lot of youngsters playing, a lot of youngsters coming up through, through the ranks. So therefore, there's no continuity in that. So we end up having the same players you just moving around uh, different teams. And, uh, and I think that also impacted uh, the standard of football in the country. But looking at how things are done lately, looking at how teams now starting to invest in the youngsters, I, th I strongly believe that this is the right way to go. Mm. What are you doing, Tiko? What, 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 what are you up to besides working at Mamelodi <laughs> Sundowns? Besides um, with my pundit work as well, yeah. um, uh, there's a project that I'll be working uh, on for the last two years so people should be looking out on my socials uh, by next week early i should be announcing what i'll be working on for two years so i'm very excited are you actually. announcing it live on newsroom africa <laughs> 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 there's an opportunity yes <laughs> if there's an opportunity of course yeah yeah all right Tiko, thank you so much we look forward to that of course you you've been an excellent ambassador of the game uh, throughout your career i don't think there's been uh, negative headlines about you. You've been an excellent role model to uh, a lot of youngsters there. What a player you were. A pleasure to have witnessed you play. Uh, from Rear Stars, City Pillars, uh, Super Sports United. You were amazing at Super Sports United, <laughs> by the way. Orlando Pirates, as well as Mamelodi Sundowns. Bafana Bafana, legend. 2010 World Cup poster boy. Tiko Modise, right here in the studio.